Hello all, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we will see how to dump the program to EFM32 board from Simple City Studio. So we will take an existing project and then try to run the project um, and we will see uh, whether uh, <coughs> that project is working fine or not. So for this, uh, you can see here already the board is connected and then uh, you can say start as uh, we did previously. You can see here if you want to create a new project, you can click on new project or you can go to example projects and demos click on that and if you see here uh, it opens a number of projects uh, which are already created so for this what we will do is we will take one project we will take a bare metal project which is like a, a normal project we <coughs> The one uh, which uh, uh, can be easily understood by the programmers and uh, blink LED is something. So in C, uh, we start with hello world, right? Similarly, in uh, blink in uh, microcontroller programming, blink LED is something uh, similar to uh, hello world. So now let us try to use this and let us say create project. So when you say create project this window opens up and in the right uh, so you can see here project name we will just keep it as is uh, you browse to a default location and uh, uh, you can see here link sdk and copy project sources that's what we want and in the right bottom corner you will have finish click on it once you say uh, finish the project starts running and you can see here the project got created so are, uh, here is the first project on EFM 32 G, GG12 board. So, for a program manager, uh, for uh, a firmware engineer, it is uh, to be understood that entire program execution starts from main. So, if you have number of .c and .h files, uh, and if you are new to a programming, go to main.c and that's where the execution happens. So, <clears throat> how uh, we do a programming is, just to give a glimpse for the beginners who are here, uh, the first thing is, initially we will do um, an initialization of the controller. What we mean by initialization of the controller is, we will set up uh, the uh, clock, we will set up what are all the pins that are required uh, and example now we are saying blink led right so for this blink led you will have some pin configuration set up so you will configure the pin as output because you have to queue high and low on that pin for the led to blink right so <clears throat> all that will be done uh, before the while one that's where uh, uh, a, cell system initialize happens and then in the app in it what is done is uh, uh, you will be configuring a timer so that the LED blink happens uh, at a specific time like example if we go inside the app INIT you can see here blink initialization is what the function that is written and inside that you can see here uh, a periodic timer uh, uh, function has called uh, has been called and you can see here the toggle delay is 500 milliseconds that means every 0.5 second the LED uh, glows on if it is off previously and then off off on toggling means off and on so that's how you can see here this is the toggle delay this is a macro that is defined <coughs> then if you go back to main you can you have a while one inside which the infinite loop runs and uh, here so silicon labs is asking not to touch this actually there isn't anything inside this so if you go to a function you can see nothing is defined here these are all blank functions so, but uh, as they have recommended we will not touch that function but this is the function the application 
is what we, we require and we will see what is happening inside so app process action so if you go inside this function you can see here blink process action and when you open the declaration you can see when toggle timeout is true what we are doing is uh, uh, we are calling a led toggle function with led instance uh, passed to it then we are making it false so where this is going to and false is uh, inside the <coughs> timer you can see here once the timer interrupt occurs and there is a timeout uh, the toggle timeout is set to true that means in the while one every time when it comes it will see it will come to this function checks if it is true and um, process uh, uh, this uh, function and it makes false and until it is true again um, that means so it, it goes to true only when timer uh, uh, timeout occurs so that's how uh, the loop continues and if you go to SLLED toggle you can see here we are just trying to um, toggle the LED. Now, how is the instance? So, we need to know which pin is uh, configured and uh, uh, which port is used, right? If you go to <coughs> cell LED 0, you can see here, this is a simple LED context. And if you go to LED context, you can see here LED 0 port. The port is defined here, which is GPI over port A. And then, if you go to LED pin, this is 12th pin. Now, if you just switch from Simplicity LED to Launcher here, and uh, Overview, if you go to Thunderbird, uh, Schematic, and uh, let the PDF open. So, once it opens, let us go to uh, the LED. So, let us see LED. It is LED 0, right? search for LED R where it user interface LED where it is going you can see here it is going to port A12 you know it is RGB LED uh, we are right now controlling only R so that means uh, the, the red LED must glow so PA12 is the pin so if you go back to the simplicity studio uh, GPI or port A12 pin is what it is used that means the configuration is done such that uh, in the while one every time when the timer is <coughs> ticking and uh, the interrupt occurs the flag is set and depending on that uh, um, the, uh, the LED on or off function is called the toggling function is called so uh, that's what it happens and uh, hope <coughs> it is uh, uh, clear and uh, and uh, that's how uh, this entire loop works so and then uh, it is uh, uh, we, we will just check how uh, the LED whether the LED is blinking on the board or not okay so now that we run through the program let us see how to build and run this particular program so if you go here you have a small symbol um, so if you are not comfortable with that you can you can go here you can individually build the project or if you go to run and say debug what happens is uh, uh, the board the first the program will be run and uh, <coughs> Uh, it will be compiled first uh, and then uh, it dumps the output file uh, to the board and you can see here there is a red button and there is a uh, green button and a red button so the red uh, green button indicates uh, resume that means you are ready to debug so you can see the arrow on the left so if you are a beginner this arrow indicates that uh, we are ready to debug so if you just try to run this so that means the program is continuously running so if you go to the board and see the board uh, you see that led zero is now blinking on the board so if you want to terminate the program just terminate it 
and um, the, the blink continues because the program is already dumped uh, but you can continue making your modifications to the program so just ensure that you don't disconnect the board with stopping the program this might damage your board sometimes so keep that in mind and uh, now we'll go to the board and see whether led is blinking or not you can see here led zero is blinking at a rate of 0.5 seconds so if you want you can change the pin configuration try led one change the timing and play around 